Now we are going to uh, Mrs. Nimet from Bahrain, and she will talk about Hijama in Bahrain. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We can start? Yes, we can hear you. Yes, we can hear you, please. Uh, okay. shall, I, shall I share uh, your uh, lecture or you are going to do it? Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. In the beginning, I would like to thank uh, Dr. Abdel Jawad Sawi, who, who recommend my name to share with you the webinar. And also, though, I uh, would like to thank uh, Dr. Afulud for the continuous communication with me to complete all the preparation and to be ready for this webinar. I'm really glad to be with you and to share all the information between Kingdom of Bahrain and all other colleagues who present earlier. And I found some of uh, uh, some repetition of my uh, uh, my presentation, and from this, I would like to skip it. Uh, let us to start uh, our presentation, the scope of alternative medicine in the Kingdom of Bahrain. And the, 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 in the beginning, I would like to salam alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Let us to continue. The outline, of, I will talk about Inichari. Inichari is the National Health Regulatory Authority and which is I'm presenting the regulation in my country, which is uh, give me the chance to regulate the alternative medicine in Bahrain. In Ichari and alternative community medicine in Bahrain, cupping and Bahraini athletes achievement, alternative medicine, committee achievement, current statistic of healthcare sectors in Bahrain, the scope of alternative medicine in Bahrain, need for investment in Bahrain and conclusion. Maybe uh, uh, doctors who present their own presentation regarding uh, how to prepare the, uh, the professions and medical, non-medical, inshallah, I will go through it uh, and you will get our experience in this field. And this is our organization, the regulatory body, as I'm uh, 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 alternative medicine uh, chairperson. Next, please. And in HR's vision, it's very important. We need to focus on a safe and high quality health services because uh, other who present their own presentation, they focus about the safety. And our vision it is we are concentrating that. Our goals regulate and accountable facilities, safe and trust services, preserve health rights. Next, please. Okay, our services, uh, professional licensing, because we are, talk we are talking about the uh, professions who's having their own uh, privilege of uh, alternative medicine or they are having a part of pajama, regulating drugs, regulating medical device, licensing, inspecting facilities, CBD accreditation, approving and monitoring, monitoring clinical trial, investigation and complaint uh, and talking of disciplinary action. And all, all these services are provided under one roof. If we will go for healthcare provision regulation, HRA is responsible for the licensing of all healthcare professions working in the Kingdom of Bahrain. These include doctors, nurses, dentists, pharmacists, and allied health professionals, which is alternative medicine will come under the allied professions. Uh, regulating of the licensed healthcare facility in Bahrain, including hospitals, medical centers, clinics, alternative medicine facilities, pharmacies in both the government and the private sector. NHRA sets the standard and monitors compliance by all facilities operating in Bahrain. All standards are available free to download at NHRA website, www.nhra.ph. NHRA is responsible for all the registration pricing and post-marketing pharmaceutical, including alternative medicine. If we'll go for patient complaint, also alternative medicine, they have a part of it as, as, as accept and handle complaints from any source of concerning healthcare professionals, healthcare facilities or medicine to assure a compliance with the existing law. And alhamdulillah, we don't have any uh, complaint regarding alternative medicine in Bahrain. 
In Italy, it has taken steps to bound the social gap by making health group more uh, elaborate to community requirement and to authorize licensed practitioners. Next, please. Now we need to focus how we regulate the uh, alternative medicine in Bahrain. Actually, we work hard from 2011, we reached to until 2016, the regulation, who's the one who regulate the alternative medicine. Decision number 33, regulating the practice of complementary and alternative medicine professionals technic uh, technical requirement for the licensing for private facilities. Only the alternative medicine is allowed in Bahrain in the private sector only. And this is, uh, this is the resolution, actually it is in Arabic and all the regulations will be in Arabic. Uh, let us to continue. Please. Now we have a table for the 13 categories of alternative medicine that registered in Bahrain. And you can see here the cupping therapy, uh, this is one of the parts we focus on as Muslims. Uh, we are practicing and uh, covering the Sunnah of Rasul alayhi wa Next. And this is the part of the qualification. Qualification requirement for licensing insurance in complementary and alternative medicine field tab, uh, table for physicians according to the classification set out of the article number three. If we will go for Tabibu Maris al Hijama, Cupping Therapy Physicians Practitioner, they have the uh, hours they're supposed to cover. They need 20 hours to, according to the uh, uh, authority to give them a license as a privilege according with their own license as a previous. Uh, if we will go for index number three, qualification work for the last insurance, complementary and alternative medicine, field table for allied health professionals according to the classification set out by article number nine. The well-known practice within the GCC and Arab country for alternative medicine, cupping lawal hujama. Awal ma'roof al mutadawal ka'ilaj mawjood fi dual arabi awal hujam. Cupping therapy physician, practitioner, cupping therapy for technician. They have, we have two parts for uh, classification. They have a bachelor uh, with, with 60 hours. And for the therapist, they have also a diploma in one of the very medical professionals attend to practice training for the less than 80 hours. Next, please. A full go for the athletes of Bahrain. This is the one who dealt with uh, Hujama Bri. Uh, championship be, uh, before starting. And actually I have some videos that are talking about their own experience with the hujama. He's the one Ahmed Al-Aradi and he's the one of the CrossFit Salman Al-Bedr. And here we can see uh, in general how they are using the cupping therapy. Okay, next. You maybe have noticed that several Olympics athletes cover the bruises, including swimmer. I will not go through all of these, but in fact, they are self inflicted market caused by anything from the therapy called cupping. They are believing in it. Next, please. I will not go through as a repetition. I will go uh, uh, to save all the time for the, uh, our achievement. If you can go slide by slide to until I reach to the specific slide we need to talk. Continue, please. You can see from this slide, this is from an Instagram, one of the athletes who make a questionnaire for the public regarding the, uh, if you are agree with hijama or not. You can see here the sharing 3,133. And he, even himself, he's surprised how it is they are agreeing to do the cupping between the athletes. Okay. I will not go through this. Okay. Continue. Okay. Continue. Next slide. Okay. Next slide. This is one of our, our athletes. What they said about it, exactly. 
remove the buildup of the lactic acid when it causes sour muscles, especially when overworked, such as in a race or a hard workout. Minimize the restrictions of the connective tissue that lies between the muscles and the surface of the skin. Increase blood flow to help recovery. Decrease the fatigue feeling that comes from the back to back swimming competition. Allow for more flexibility and increase movement and overall feeling of release. Next, please. We have a small committee, uh, according to the resolution, go back to the previous slide, please. This is my team, actually, who's preparing all the uh, things related to the alternative medicine behind But this committee is specialized for the uh, training for uh, traditional uh, cupping uh, therapy in Bahrain, which is the are non uh, medical background. The tracking for the committee of the advisory committee in licensing of alternative and complementary medicine and the decision of CISER chair number 53 for the year 2017 was restrict, restricted under the chairperson under my observation, Ahmed Al Subiri. Okay. Next, uh, this is our achievement now. We'll go. Approval of traditional cupping therapy, because this is a project started from year 2017 after my visit to China, Abru uh, Beijing. Approval for traditional cupping therapy to practice cupping therapy in safe and healthy practice in Kingdom of Bahrain. Uh, under initiatory regulation within close supervision from Alternative Medicine Committee. This is for non-medical background. Project steps introductory meeting with a traditional cupping practitioner with the initiatory. It was in 31st of October, 2017. Awareness presentation regarding infection control and medical waste. First workshop was held in 26th of September, 2018. The second one was 24th. 2018, the third was 13 February 2019. First professional cupping certificate written and practical exam start from December 15 till 20th of 2018. Next, please. I did some uh, uh, meeting, especially I was started with Saudi Arabia, the Alternative Medicine Center, which is have they mentioned before about the center. There are uh, they are doing some uh, uh, education and courses for uh, only the who's having medical background, uh, doctors, nurses, and physiotherapists. But for the uh, who's training the alternative medicine, they don't have the background, which is, I went to Sharjah, the holistic center who have these courses specialized for this type, which is, I entered this, uh, course fully and uh, the exam and uh, got the certificate and we make a contract with the Dr. Hayman and Nahal who did some really good uh, studies regarding the traditional practitioners in, uh, in Bahrain. A participation of committee members within GCC or by planned meeting between the country. Go back, please. Previous slide, please. Which is, this is, this is the beginning, which is started. And really I'm proud for this project and uh, which is um, uh, dealing with Bahraini only, who's uh, having the background, uh, they are doing the hujama at home and we bring them out and we train them to be very helpful, which is their own names, 84 person, the traditional, their own names, it is available on our website. Okay, next. For regarding the course, next slide, please. Certi certificate and workshop needed for this program. In the beginning, we did the first aid certificate for them as a preparation, infection control certificate, me uh, medical waste certificate, how they are dealing with the medical with the with the medical waste, a professional training program for hajama cupping therapy. Next. Next, please. We did the con contract with uh, collaboration uh, with uh, Sharjah International Holistic Health Center, United Arab Emirates. Okay. Next. 
you can see here, this is the first group who has some experience above 25 years who's doing hujama at home. And this is uh, the trainer, who, the coach who trained them the first eight. This is the part for the female, and this is the part the, for the female, which they took their own training from the cross society. Next. Next, please. And here we can, you can see them also the time of are doing for them the, uh, the theory for infection control and medical waste. This is the first group, it was 24 person. Next. Next, please. This is the second group. Okay, next. And this is the team who's doing the infection control, Ms. Shahrazad, Ibrahim, and uh, engineer from the uh, Supreme Council of Medis uh, Al-A'la uh, lil for the environment, who's really dealing with the medical waste. Next. And this is the theory what we are doing for the, uh, we, for, for three days learning theory, which is this, the first group. Okay, next. And here we can see them, they are doing, they're doing the clinical according, which is this take place in a hospital, private hospital. And they took the journey for six days and we are we're reaching for, we are doing for them as uh, training for uh, hujama. And also we are making for them the exam for the infection control and how we are dealing with the patient. We are, they are taking the history and they are taking all the PPE proportion for the patient because they don't have the background, but we train them very well. Next, please. Next. And this is the time for the exam. It, it takes one hour and we, we correct the exam for them. And here we can see our CEO, Dr. Maria Meljalahna, who's really take the responsibility to give the chance for the non-professional background to express and to learn and also to, to protect the community from the infections and also at the same time to give them the chance to learn and also uh, Supreme Council of Women, they are supporting the woman at the same time, which we give them the chance to, to, to practice and to get to get a type of job they can practice also. Next. Okay, that action taken from military during COVID-19 epidemic to 2020, 2021, which is Hijama practice conducted in home were suspended until 2021. That's mean we took another type of a proportion to stop any uh, hijama doing at home. The state offering alternative medicine service to patients are required to follow the proper instruction from NHRA, which is this uh, an instruction it is taken seriously to cover and to give them the rules and regulations at the same time. In Bahrain, we have four governorates, and that's to just to give it the chance. Even in our website, we localize each each uh, uh, Hajjam Shabi, uh, the, the traditional Hajjam, which area he's located. If they are getting easy uh, place to get to find uh, Hajjam, okay. Next, please. Dr. Nimat, will you please conclude in two minutes? Yeah, okay. Uh, let's start to go just for a few statistics. Next, please. Okay, next. Only all take for 2020, 2021. If you can see the centers here for statistics is increasing uh, yearly, it's one. Next. Next, please. And also we can hear, uh, find here carbon therapy 17. This is a professional. I'm talking about the professionals in Bahrain. Next, please. 
And also we are doing uh, our own uh, communication with others to increase our knowledge, to share our experience, which is the Hiyaz Ayush uh, uh, Ministries who's sharing our experience also regarding hijab and Bahrain. Next, please. Next, please. Next. Now we'll go for the hour scope. Uh, the Bahrain government has realized the need for facilitating the state in the promotion of alternative medicine since it is in line with the traditional belief and values of Bahrain population. There has been an increasing demand of alternative medicine in Bahrain due to the increased expenditure in the healthcare improvement and infrastructure. Since the Bahraini government is trying to introduce regulatory reform of alternative medicine practice, the centers are under Special License Act. The growth in the, these sectors has increased Bahrain's business opportunities and financial prospect. Next, please. Next. Challenges for injury, injury uh, in Bahrain, unable to integrate with government health sector, limited source of herbal medicine in, in the market, no local association for alternative medicine, lack of descriptive information about alternative medicine in general, the challenge of providing basic need and to link them to primary health care, to increase the awareness along with the treatment, but encouraging and facilitating and setting up of specialty centers and units, no covered by healthcare insurance. Next, please. Next, next. And if you are planning to invest in Bahrain, geographical uniqueness of Bahrain, open market, it is the part of in, encouragement for medical tourism. NHRA is the regulatory body for the private and government sectors. There are standardized rules for investment in Bahrain, easy licensing procedures available to, for, for human rights. Next, please. Conclusion, the objective of military is to strengthen the existing public health system by linking alternative medicine in the healthcare system. There is a high demand of Ayurveda medicine among the population in the Kingdom of Bahrain, Bahrain where the government have motivated to regulate alternative medicine practice and policies and realize the function of growth opportunity from this sector. There is a high demand of hijama having among the population in the Kingdom of Bahrain this will give the chance for Yunani medicine to practice in Bahrain. Next. This is our, if you have any query, this is, it can help you if you are, would like to communicate with HRA. Next, please. Next, please. I just will go through pictures. This is through my uh, visit to China. Next, with the GCC team. Next. And this is my visit to India regarding the Arabic medicine and also that doing the leaching at the same time. And this is also again China, which would present the hijab and Islam. Next. Next. And also here it was in Dubai also that we were covered uh, the alternative medicine. Next, please. Just to continue, this is in Saudi Arabia. Uh, maybe they know that this to visit their own centers and the centers outside who they are. Uh, supervised well. This is during uh, uh, New Delhi regarding Yunani medicine. And this is the coverage media in Bahrain through television and also uh, newspaper, which is coverage in Arabic and English. And also, in, uh, um, and this is our CEO, which is launching about information about the training for the uh, Hajjamin. Next, just a few our achievement, how we are covering to spread. And so this is uh, in Turkey. This is my presentation also. Next, please. Thank you. Next, this is my practicing here, Hajama. Next, next. This is all our team. Next, please. Just, this is my message that we are really concerning about Hajama to be more spread between our population, between all the over the world. And also we need from ourselves to give the chance for the others to learn according to the rules and regulation that set up from the country. 
we need we need to expose all our information like for this webinar it is very important for me to 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 know what is going on exactly around uh, in the world and this is to give me the chance which is i would say uh, next month uh, in, in july it will be the fifth uh, training uh, for the uh, traditional uh, hajjam in bahrain which is where we have to complete our mission to train them and to cover all the uh, weakness in this uh, part thank you very much thank you dr okay, we... thank you so much